He's very, very thankful. Of course, it makes sense. It makes sense for the developer to be thankful. What stands out to me is not the fact that he is thankful as a, a developer, but as he says here, rather as a developer, I want, I care about this thing, you know. I care about the gaming perspective. He speaks, he talks about this thing from a perspective of, of a player. What does this mean? Why is this very, very successful? What does it mean as an MMO? Now, MMOs live and die from their community. If the community keeps on growing, the MMO will keep on growing, the MMO will be super healthy, the MMO will be super good, the MMO, more people are gonna play this, more people are gonna be able to come, you know? What do you wanna go? Do you wanna go into a fucking dead fucking game or do you wanna go into a game that is full of players? Now, everybody will choose the latter. Allow me to tell you guys my first-hand opinion when it comes to Final Fantasy XIV and its community. And after I finish saying what I have to say, I will actually show you. I will let you guys have a sneaky peek into my YouTube studio and you guys will see for yourself uh, that my claims are not just claims, they are facts, okay? Now, Final Fantasy XIV is very, very re receptive of new content creators. Every single video that I've done about Final Fantasy XIV has the most comments, has the most likes, has the most views, has the most uh, like to dislike, uh, the best like to dislike ratio, has a lot of positivity, has a lot of inclusivity, has a lot of love. When you embrace, like this is actually, this is, this is so good, when you embrace a content creator as a community, even if the MMO is good, bad, doesn't matter what it is, right? When you embrace a content creator, especially a new content creator, I will go out there and I will preach in favor of the community. Now, what does this make for me? This make me, this makes me obviously a part of the community and in turn, by preaching out here positivity and by keep on keeping on doing uh, YouTube videos regarding positivity, regarding how good the fucking game is and how lovely the community actually fucking is, is uh, it's 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 simple. The game is gonna grow because the more of this you have, the better the game is going to get. The better the game is, the more people are gonna come. Uh, time to lurk, you gotta learn. Uh, wishing a good stream. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're double gaming. It's good to have you here even as a lurker. Now, here's the big differentiation between FF14 and every other MMO community that I've been a part of. Not only are the Final Fantasy XIV members very kind and very welcoming to Sprouts, not only do you guys help, them, help the Sprouts learn the game, not only are you guys super duper exclusive, but the game itself motivates you to play with Sprouts by giving you extra rewards when there is a newbie into the group. When someone does the duty for the first time, we all have seen this message of, you know what, 100 extra tombstone of Phoenix, 100, uh, you know, extra rewards pretty much, right? Now, that said, Sprouts aside, why is it a very, very healthy mindset? Why is there a very, very healthy situation, community, atmosphere when it comes to Final Fantasy XIV community? People that defend their MMO show that they clearly love it, right? And here's where Final Fantasy XIV succeeds when other, where other MMOs fail, in my opinion. Final Fantasy XIV is uh, it's less of a goal-oriented MMORPG and more of a passion-oriented MMORPG. Or should I say RPG MMO, right? Now, one of you guys in the chat saw the little detail of this necklace right here being the Hojufu necklace, necklace, right? And how many of you feel or got these feels, got these vibes because you guys saw this necklace which urged you to appoint into the MSQ? Now, MSQ is undeniable, undeniably the strongest point of Final Fantasy XIV, right? But because of the emotions created to you into the MSQ, you're left with a sensation of wholesomeness, a sensation of uh, content. You're emotionally content, you're emotionally fulfilled, and these positive emotions, you will radiate them the people around you. Now, why am I speaking about you mostly and less of me? Because, well, I am a bit of a toxic piece of shit, but I try to keep it within, <laughs> within reach, you know? I try to be less of an asshole. And Final Fantasy XIV has succeeded in making me of less of an asshole. I've said it before, Final Fantasy XIV has made me a better person. The community itself has made me a better person. I don't... I didn't know. I never thought that this would be possible. I never thought that there was a game that would make me healthier, psychologically healthier, 
physically healthier, uh, emotionally healthier. Heck, I, e I even started to have empathy. <laughs> like me, I even started to have empathy, you know? We're talking about a stone cold chaotic piece of shit, you know? And I started having empathy. And this guy is one of the reasons why. The community loves this guy. And here's the, 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 the crazy part, right? We are giving money to Square Enix. Square Enix of all companies, right? And we don't mind. Because it's this guy that's in, in the fucking pedestal, right? Now, this guy right here is a gamer. This guy right here is a wholesome fellow. This guy right here loves his game. Uh, Soken loves his game. Uh, the, the, the guy with the white hair loves his game. Ishikawa loves his game. Her game. My bad. All of these guys. Heck, even my Koji Fox. Like, you know when Koji Fox makes a specific quest? Because it always has to do about balls. You know, like the Loporid questline where you just had to lob your balls of moose flesh to people, right? Dude. They love the game and they're not afraid to do memes. And this cultivates wholesomeness. This cultivates joy this joy in turns is in turn is transferred to the community and the community is full of joy how many times in the msq did you forgive a villain let's take a moment and talk psychology here let's go big brain mode okay in world of warcraft most villains you either kill them imprison them or fuck them away right let's talk about the most vibrant example of a villain that we forgave or at least most of us did Yotsuyu. Now, when you start Stormblood, Yotsuyu is a piece of shit. She is. She is a piece of shit, you know? She even fucking steps on fucking Gozetsu's face with her fucking shoe. Like, this is the most iconic moment of Stormblood, I want to say, right? And at that point, you're seething. Like, you're like, bitch, I'ma cut this fucking leg off and I will beat you to death with it. At least these were my thoughts, you know? And 4.2 comes, 4.3 comes, and you see... Yotsuyu, you see, you see her become Tsuyu, you see the memory slowly coming back, and then she has the tragic death with Tsukuyomi, and you mourn her, you mourn her, you, you cry for her, you know, you're like, oh my fucking god, do you know that I needed at least, when I killed Tsukuyomi, I was like, eh, fuck that bitch, well, I didn't kill her, Asahi killed her, who, in retrospect, fucked that guy too, right, but I the bitch dies, I'm like, eh, fuck her, and the next day, I'm like, oh, because the impact started to come out to, uh, to the surface. I'm like, you know what? This is phenomenal. The, she dies and you're left feeling sad towards a person that you hated. You give her a second chance, you know? Now, there are some irredeemable characters, but you will always have that extra thing. You know, Emmet Salk, you had to kill them. You were like, he's the baddie. But... <laughs> Uh, sorry, uh, what was the guy that I was thinking? Elidibus, yeah, you kill him, but, <laughs> you know, Volthry, even Volty, Volty, Volthry, how do you call, you know, the guy that, the, the fucking Yulmore guy, right? Piece of shit. You kill him, but, <laughs> you know, you learn about this, his past, there is always a but, you know? And that but is what causes you to think extra, to imagine more, you to be like, you know what? It's not as simple as black and white. There are many morally grey characters in Final Fantasy XIV. And characters like this have you think about it. They make you... They make strong moments, strong emotional moments. When this guy comes out here and thanks us about, you know... He says that they received the highest recognition from its players and its community. How could it not? This guy is the master gardener. The master, you know, uh, agriculture guy. He plants, he plants his seedlings, us, with such care, such love. He listens. And because he listens, he tends to us. And we grow and we love the game. And we vote for the best community. How could we not? I am one of the newest members in the Final Fantasy XIV community. I am one of the newest content creators. I am possibly one of the most toxic ones. You guys don't see it in the, in the fucking stream, but it's all about the mindset. Like, I spoke in a, in a few streams ago, I don't remember which one though. I had this fucking uh, duty where we got a lady boost and the people didn't, didn't... They failed the clicking phase, right? And by failing the clicking phase, I didn't say anything in the party chat, but I could feel my, myself molding, you know, going like... Ah, how difficult it is to click, you fucking piece of shit! You know, I, I thought, I had this thought. 
and I was greeted with an alien expression, with an alien message in the chat. Uh, so the guy that failed to click, he was like, ah, guys, I, I truly apologize, this is happening. And everyone else is like, no worries, man. Like, you know, take your time. It's okay. It's a bit difficult. It's a bit intense. He fails again. I am losing my shit. The, the chat, though, isn't. Everybody else isn't. They're like, no, 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 it's okay. Don't worry about it. We've been there, you know. Third attempt, someone else fucking fails. Immediately, guys, this was my bad. He, he's, he, he comes out there. He confesses it in front of the entire group. Not afraid about getting kicked. Do you know what would happen in World of Warcraft if you did that? You can, the moment that you say, it, it it was me, but there is no, the but never comes out. It's be you and it's cut off. You, your T is not like, I, I fucked up, but that's it. You have been removed from the group. Uh, and immediately the, the fucking uh, chat messages in the chat would, the chat messages in the chat, right? Yeah, yeah. Bear with me, right? They would be like, oh, this fucking piece of shit. Yeah, get, get the fuck out of here, you fucking loser. You know, things like this. So the community itself is... It deserves it. The best community award, it deserves it. If you guys are going to win, uh, we, maybe we guys, right? Because I am considering Final Fantasy XIV to be my main MMO uh, at, at, at right now. And I believe this will continue to be the case in the recent, uh, in the near future, if not in the distant future. I have a lot of content I want to do. I have a lot of lore deep dives that I want to do. I fucking love the game. I adore the game. Even if Endwalker is up to this point my least favorite expansion i will debunk that a bit later down the line but uh, i actually have a video talking about this which i have uploaded on youtube i will publish it later so you guys will be able to, to uh, check out my pov right now that said that said i believe it's going to be to win the community award of the year from 2023 uh, community, best community award 2024 best community award 2025 uh, the only year I can imagine Final Fantasy XIV potentially losing the best community award is if Ashes of Creation comes out and it is as good as Steven uh, hypes it out to be. You know, if all this hopium turns out to be true, then maybe it is a possibility that Final Fantasy XIV will lose the best community award. But until then, what is the competition? Let's talk competition for a moment. New World? Mm, I don't see that. Maybe, maybe. Uh, New World, by the way, it has a lack of content creators. Maybe we'll jump into this in the future. Check out it for myself. I'm not really... Like, it's alien to me. I cannot offer an... Exper an, an, an uh, can I stop stuttering? Is it possible? An opinion about New World. You know, um, Star Wars The Old, Repu the Old Republic. Um, the community is good, but the fucking... The MMO is a bit of an underdog, you know? It takes a very long time to build a nice community, especially with a big audience. That is true. Star Wars The Old Republic, I believe, has a very, very good community, but it does not have the audience to bug it up, right? World of Warcraft has a toxic piece of shit community. Um, we, we are simply out of MMOs. ESO has a toxic piece of shit community. And uh, it's not about... So hold up. No. You know what? I will stop there. Uh, ESO does not have a toxic piece of shit community. ESO has a surprisingly wholesome community. I take my words back. I apologize for saying this. I disagree. My ex my uh, experience with ESO community has been fairly positive. Now, there are some bad batches out there, right? It's it's a bit mixed, what I'm trying to say, but there are definitely some wholesome people, okay? But Zenimax Online, the, the company handling ESO, uh, the systems, the monetization, the predatory styles, like, how can I give you guys an example? The Crown Store is banned in Netherlands and in Belgium because of uh, the predatory monetization and the gambling. Because you can only get things via loot boxes. Not only, but most of the good things that you can get are via loot boxes. For example, like mouths and shit, you know? So, yeah, I, would I need to back my uh, argument even further? I don't think I do. You guys get the point. And they are, like, they, they are so toxic towards the community that I don't believe the community is going to love the game they're playing, even if they love the fucking... The, the story. It's because of the company fucking them in the ass, right? So I think that Elden, not Elden, sorry, Final Fantasy XIV has a monopoly when it comes to the best community and uh, it will continue to grow. It is, it is very, very good. It deserves all the rewards, all the awards it's gonna get. This guy deserves them. I give them, uh, it, it, it's impressive. There is no 
other things they have to add. You guys deserve it. We guys deserve it. Um, Yoshi Peep, thank you for making a game like this. Thank you for cultivating a community like this. Thank you for listening to feedback. Thank you for making sure that unnecessary friction is removed from the game and the friction that we have is, you know, the, the minimum, the minimum. You guys are amazing. You guys are phenomenal content creators. You guys are phenomenal uh, developers. When I say content creators, I'm not talking about, you know, YouTube and shit. I'm talking about you. these guys are making content for us. You know, like the guy, these guys are developing the game. It, the game has content. We get to react to it. We get to enjoy this, right? Uh, I will send out my love and only love to Soken and the guy with the fucking white hair that I need to learn his fucking name But I never do he's a Japanese fella You know he was one of the four guys that did the tweeting dance back in the fun fest of 2020 uh, Was it 2022 or 2021? I don't remember you guys know which guy I'm talking about. He's a super wholesome guy only love to Ishikawa uh, though M Mrs. Ishikawa if, if you ever watch this part of uh, don't do that thing again with the body changing shit. I feel fucking violated. I actually do. It was a, it was a break moment for me. Okay? So I'm giving you a complaint right here. I'm not saying I'm not criticizing. It was a, it was an intense moment. Uh, people loved or hated it. Like it's I think it's going it, it stood out to me. Uh 80 to 85 of all the quests, that quest stood out to me. Now I hate it, but it stood out to me, you know? Like this is what I mean. This is what I mean. Best community. Why? Because you have emotions like this. It cultivates emotion from you. You will never be neutral to the fucking game. Anyway, well deserved, guys. Honestly, well deserved. It's it, it's it's a fucking honor to be a member of the Final Fantasy XIV community. It, it 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 is. It makes me feel very very nice. I'm going to like this shit. <laughs>